The most awaited feature of Microsoft Teams has finally been rolled out, the presenter mode. In addition to giving us an option of standout mode, Microsoft has decided to release two new one-of-a-kind features, which are the side-by-side -side and the reporter mode. This new release will let presenters choose from four different options to share their screen on their Teams desktop app. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be talking all about presenter mode. I will be showing you the process, customization, the pros and cons from an educator perspective. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This rollout is expected to complete by mid-October. This feature works for Windows and Mac, and this only works for Teams desktop app as of now. So here I am on my Teams desktop app. I'm going to go ahead and start my meeting. I'm going to click Meet Now and start the meeting. You can also go ahead and start the meeting and use the feature inside your classroom channels as well. I'm going to mute my microphone and join now. So here I am in my Teams meeting. The first thing I would like to do is go ahead and click on share content. As you can see, here is my presenter mode. Please keep in mind this presenter mode works only if you're sharing your screen or your window. This is not available for PowerPoint live yet. So if you want to share your PowerPoint presentation, then I highly recommend downloading it onto your desktop and sharing it as an application from your desktop. So as you can see, I have these four different options, which are content only, standout mode, side by side and the reporter mode. If you look close, this kind of give you a preview of what your presentation is going to look like. But I would like to call your attention to the customize option here. Let me go ahead and click on that. Here I have all these different options to choose from. Like I said, I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons. The pros are I do have enough options to choose from, but the cons are what if I don't like these options? Microsoft does not give me an option to upload my own background like in the video feed. I hope Microsoft is listening and it adds a plus sign right here. But for now, let's go ahead and pick from the ones we have, which is the blue background. Now let's go back. And here you have an option to share your screen and share your window. And again, if you are an educator who would record your sessions and you want all these presentation layouts to be recorded, then I highly recommend sharing your screen than a window. Because if you share your window, keep in mind only that window is going to be recorded and all your different transitions, layouts and presentation modes will not be recorded. So let me go ahead and click on the window for now. I'm going to go ahead and share my Edge browser. So here is my Edge browser. This is a content only. I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to go all the way up here so I can bring down my control bar and I'm going to click on standout mode. And as you can see here, as soon as I click on the standout mode, this little window pops up. Keep in mind, this is what this is a preview of what your students and your audience will see. And again, this preview will not be recorded. Only the window that you chose, which is in my background, is going to be recorded. So only this window is going to be recorded and not this beautiful overlay of yourself on your content. And again, pros of this, I like it because I have enough place to show what I'm doing. But the cons are I cannot move myself. So if I have to share my content somewhere on the right hand side, I can't do that. The only way I can do is just by ducking myself. So I wish Microsoft gives me an option to move myself on the screen, which would be very nice. And again, if you think having a green screen in the background would help with all this distortion, trust me, it does not. So here is a standout presenter mode where your video feed is in the front and your content is in the back. Pros, I don't need a green screen. Cons, I cannot move myself on the screen. Now let's go back so I can pull my control bar. Now it's the side by side mode. Are you ready? This is my favorite. So here is my side by side mode. This is one of my favorite. And as you can see, it's very clean and crisp. The pros are it looks very professional. If you're presenting something, you can be talking to your students directly and presenting at the same time. And again, the cons are I cannot move or expand my screen from here. As you can see, I cannot move my window. I cannot minimize the size or maximize the size. If I have to, I have to go back to my PDF 
and edit there. So let me quickly go back to my PDF, edit something and then come back and show you how it looks. I'm editing my PDF on the left hand side and you can see that on the screen on the right hand side. So it does not give me an option to write or uh, edit my screens. I have to go back to that particular window and do it. And again, this is only if you are an educator. Now let's go and take a look at the reporter mode. So here I am. Let me go ahead and click on it. Are you ready for this? There you go. Boom. Oh my God. I kind of feel like uh, Microsoft has zoomed into my face and superimposed my video onto the background and put the content on my shoulder. So, and I, I think this kind of mimics the TV reporters. And if you like this mode, you are more than welcome to use it. But I think my students would be scared to see my face up so close. And again, here is my content on my shoulder. I cannot edit anything here. Again, I have to go back to that application and edit. So if I'm sharing my window, I can see what I'm doing at the same time. Now let's go back and share the screen and see how it looks. So now let's go ahead and share the screen. I'm going to click on share content here and share my screen. And again, the first option by default option is it's only sharing the content. Now let me go ahead and click on standout mode. And as you can see, as soon as I click the standout mode, this little window pops up. But here again, keep in mind, this is recording the entire screen. So if I go ahead and expand, it's going to be recording what I see. So if I want to change to a side by side mode, boom, here is the side by side mode. And here is the zoom in reporter mode. Now let's go back to the side by side mode here. This side by side mode kind of makes me look nice, better than the reporter mode. Again, the pros are my entire screen is being recorded. I don't have to worry about what my students are seeing and what I'm seeing because what I see is what they see. But as an educator, I will not be able to edit, write or draw anything here. So if I'm only presenting without writing or simply moving the application, then maybe this is something that I would want to. But if I have to write on my PDF document, which is something like this, and again, I cannot edit or write anything in the side by side mode, even if I share my screen. I have to go back into my PDF and then write it. But here, keep in mind, I'm splitting my screens so I can access this window and I can see what my students are seeing. And again, when it's recording, all these three windows will be recorded and your students might get confused. So if you're an educator who are writing and who are constantly using those annotations, you might want to see which presentation mode is best for you. And I really don't know why Microsoft makes it so complicated. I really hope what we see is what the students see and what can be recorded. I hope I have the ability to record from the screen that I am seeing instead of switching to multiple windows. And again, let me go back here, expand this window one last time. Let me show you the standout mode, the side by side mode and the reporter mode. Oops, this one scares me. I hope you enjoy this session. I hope you learn how to change different presentation modes inside Microsoft Teams. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know that there are educators who want to try something new every single classroom. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? Don't forget to check out the Microsoft Teams playlist, interactive PowerPoint playlist that I will be leaving in the description box below. And do not forget to comment in the comment section below as to which presentation mode do you like the most. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.